people that are that are helping her out and I think that she's going to get some really good results. She has beautiful structure in her lips. So when you do eventually get them redone, mm -hmm. um, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay, um, so we're gonna look at ultrasound and we're just gonna kind of map the inferior labial artery and make sure that we have good blood flow. Perfect. I'm sorry, can you see it? Oh, oh okay. You okay. You need your. Oh, there you go. You want me to make it bigger? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. There we go. And y'all see pulsating. Mm -hmm. Throughout, right there. Good morning. Good morning. So she has good blood flow throughout the entire inferior labial artery. Okay. Okay, which is excellent. Um, she does, still doesn't have any pain. She's not having any skin breakdown on the outside or the inside. Okay. Um, this really does look like a dependent bruise. Okay. 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 Um, but we're going to map the inferior and the superior labial artery as well as the facial. Okay. Okay, so we can track everything. Okay, good. So again, I'm at inferior labial artery. You can see it's tracking very nicely. Really, really nice blood flow. So another way to feel your facial artery is you can have the patient bite down if you don't have ultrasound and you feel for the masseters um, right in front of where the masseter ends you're going to have a little foramen and that's where the facial artery kind of goes comes up from that external carotid up into feeds that facial artery and then it will feed the rest of the face the way that the blood flows it obviously flows up right um, you're not going to have if you do have necrosis the, uh, the reason why necrosis happens is because it's a long tube right and the blood is trying to go past it if you have a wall of filler where it's stuck anything behind that is uh, what is going to cause necrosis um, that is what's going to be painful it's going to be downstream it doesn't flow back up that way. okay so we're going to go back here I'm looking at facial where it, okay. it, it is, goes in. This is her masseter. The hypoechoic okay. structure. Mm -hmm. The um, kind of grayish, mm -hmm. dark gray. So, let's see. The facial artery. Okay. okay, you can see kind of where it's tracking from mm -hmm. above, kind of going all the way down. So Continuing to track. Beautiful. Continuing to track facial artery falling all the way. And I'm going to come up here. Continuing to pulsate. Mm -hmm. Kind of going up. Right here. <clears throat> See pulsating right on that top right corner. Mm -hmm. We're just going to kind of go up into the inferior labial artery right there. And then you can see the top one, that's where it's branching into the superior, mm -hmm. on the top of the screen. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go up into the superior. Really that's beautiful nice. blood flow. That's nice. Really yeah. pretty blood flow. Right. Okay, we're going to continue to kind of track it. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great vascular. And it's tracking all the way across. You doing okay? Yeah, okay. I feel better. <laughs> um.